dear my students with the continuation of last class the ratios and the added to the trigonometric functions we will see some problems now see whatever the problems we will going to discuss for the today's class this all problems play major role when you people will be joining for the first pc okay science and especially in mathematics part that is inverse trigonometric function chapter okay now you people know already very well okay some of the standard trigonometric ratios as well as three of the standard identities in the concept of okay trigonometry see just for timing i will recollect it before proving some different categories of problems on the ratios as well as the identities of trigonometric functions now tan theta it can be written as sin theta divided by cos theta cot theta it can be written as cos theta divided by sin theta okay next sec theta can be written as 1 divided by cos theta okay then sin theta can be written as 1 divided by it is cosec theta or is cosec theta equal to 1 divided by sin theta okay next sin square theta plus cos square theta this is equal to 1 second one is sec square theta minus tan square theta equal to 1 next one cosec square theta minus cos square theta this is equal to 1 ok these are all trigonometric ratios these are all standard identities on the trigonometric ratios ok see if you people are memorizing this much just for timing ok whatever the problems now I will going to solve ok these all problems haram you can solve in your own way now we will see the problems that first one is to prove that one plus set a divided by set a is equal to sin square a divided by 1 minus cos a. Okay. The proof of this problem is very simple. When we will be proving taking this respective term 1 plus sec a divided by sec a is equal to sin square a divided by 1 minus cos a. Okay. For timing you, you consider this left hand side term. And after go on simplifying this term you people are supposed to get this much result otherwise you consider RHS after go on solving also you people will be getting the result that is 1 plus sec divided by sec k choice is left to yours ok now I will consider this left hand side term only proof One plus sec k divided by sec k. Okay. See, before proving this respective result by taking this respective term, you don't think first of all what right hand result you are required. You just for timing you see it. First, see here sec in the numerator side is also sec, denominator side is also sec. Such type of trigonometric functions which are given in the left hand side term. But you people are supposed to prove okay sin as well as cos therefore i'll do one thing one i like as it is this sec a it can be written as one divided by it is cos a already i have written it okay and the word sec theta is equal to one by cos theta here a is the only one angle this is the difference then this whole divided by sec a can be written as one divided by cos a this is equal to ok now if nothing is there in the denominator side of this one by default it has 1 so right I will find the LCM of the numerator term 1 into cos a is how much cos a plus 
1 into 1 is 1. 4 divided by 1 into cos A, it is cos A. After finding the LCM from this full numerator term, you will be getting this much result. Okay. Now, if to this cos A, it comes in the numerator side. This 4 divided by 1. This 1 is in the denominator side. Now, cos A and cos A. Both the trigonometric functions are similar. One is there in the numerator side, one is there in the denominator side. Okay, so that you can cancel these two trigonometric functions each other. Afterwards, you will be getting cos A is cos A plus 1. Only this much you will be getting. See, after this, how are you going to prove it? Because we are required this much result. So, now I will do one thing. Okay, now this 1 plus cos A can be written as what? cos a, 1 cos a plus 1 can be written as 1 plus cos a. Okay. Next, you do one thing, rationalize this full term so that around you can get the result of this. Okay. This is equal to rationalize the term, rationalize in the sense 1 plus cos a. So, it can be, when you will be finding the rationalize or writing the rationalize in this respective full term, it will be 1 minus cos a is 4 divided by 1 minus cos a. This is called as rationalization. Once you cancel 1 minus cos a divided by 1 minus cos a, okay, you will be getting back again your original term. Now, this is equal to a plus b into a minus b. It can be written as a square minus b square formula. Okay, 1 plus cos x into 1 minus cos x. It can be written as 1 square minus it is cos square a is 4 divided by 1 minus cos a. Okay, next 1 square is the sense 1, 1 minus cos square a, it can be written as what? This is equal to sin square a divided by 1 minus cos a, I write as it is. How this 1 minus cos square a, it will be sin square a. See, Already one identity I have written in the other board. So cos square a, cos square theta, you keep in the same place as it is. Sin square theta, after taking it will be this side. Cos square theta equal to 1 minus sin square theta, it can be written. Okay, or else sin square theta keep in the same place as it is. Cos square theta, after taking to the right hand side, it will be 1 minus cos square theta. So 1 minus cos square theta can be written as sin square theta. So I have applied the same identity. 1 minus cos square a can be written as sin square a divided by 1 minus cos a. After simplifying or after rationalizing this respective term, what you people are required here the desired result that we have got here. So, this is equal to right hand side. Okay, this is the proof. Or else, apart from this, okay, after simplifying this term, once you reach it up to this much, you people wouldn't be able to get the result of this. Okay, right hand side result. You do one thing, you call this is equation number 1. Okay, stop here only. Cos a plus 1 or 1 plus cos a. Both are similar here. You call this is equation number 1. Then next, you take RHS. Separately, how I have considered every LHS. Likewise, RHS, you consider it separately. Okay, RHS equal to sin square a divided by 1 minus cos a. Okay, then after go on simplifying this full, okay, result. Okay, full term again you will be getting cos a plus 1 only. So, equation 1 and equation 2, both if you are tallied, okay, both are tallied, then this is the particular proof of the given problem. So, in this way also, I will solve and show you. Uh, once you reach it up to this much, if you did not get any ideas, okay, rationalizing the term, simplifying the further terms to getting this much result, once you reach it up to this much, you call this equation number 1, okay, and you consider separately RHS. Now, RHS is equal to, it is sin square a divided by 1 minus cos a. Okay, next. This is equal to, okay, next, sin square a, it can be written as what? 1 minus, it is cos square a. Come back with this identity. Okay. Sin square theta keep here only. Plus cos square theta after moving this side, it will be 
1 minus cos square theta. So sin square theta equal to 1 minus cos square theta. So sin square can be written as 1 minus cos square a. Then whole divided by 1 minus cos a. I write that as this. Okay. Next term. A square minus b square formula. So it can be written as what? 1 minus cos square a. 1 can be written as 1 square. So a square minus b square can be written as a minus b into a plus b. So 1 minus cos a into 1 plus cos a. a square minus b square. a minus b into a plus b. This whole divided by 1 minus cos a. Now 1 minus cos a and 1 minus cos a. From the numerator as well as the denominator term, once you get cancelled, get the last, you will be getting 1 plus cos a. Okay? Then you call this equation number 2. You come back with the equation number 1. And you cross verify with equation 2. If both are similar, then get the last, you write 1 is equal to 2. Okay? That is the Okay, like this also, you can solve this on the okay, given problems. This is the first proof of the given problem number 1. Similarly, we will see few more number of problems. Now, we will go for second one. Second problem. Square root of 1 plus cos a divided by 1 minus sin a. One plus sin a is 1 plus sin a divided by 1 minus sin a is equal to Sec a plus tan b. Okay. Next. We will see how to solve this problem. Now, you consider this left hand side curve. LH is equal to square root of 1 plus sin a divided by 1 minus sin a. Okay. Next. To getting this, this much result, this respective given term is under root. First of all, you decide how you people going to come out of the root. Okay. Directly, highly impossible is to square this only single term. Okay. So, even square also cannot be applicable to this only single term. But, what procedure if you follow to, okay, this respective term so that a query easily you people can come out of the square root. This is the only one very important thing because in the left hand side term, they are given under root, but here root is not all there. So, if you people would like to come out of the root from this respective term, you don't think rationalize the denominator term or else rationalize the numerator term. Choice is left to you people. Okay. Next term. In after rationalizing either numerator or denominator term, you people are supposed to get this much result. Now, I will rationalize the denominator term. 1 plus sin a divided by 1 minus sin a into when you are rationalizing this respective term it will become what plus 1 plus sin a divided by 1 plus sin a 1 plus sin a 1 plus sin a if you cancel this term again you will be getting your portional term ok now this is equal to square root of a plus b into a plus b it can be written as 1 plus sin a whole into square ok multiply this term as well as this both are similar only therefore 1 plus sin a into 1 plus sin a 1 plus sin a whole into square x into x how you will be writing x square like this only if same terms are there in between the same terms if into is there ok multiply the terms and write the square to that respective term ok this whole divided by a minus b into a plus b ok 
it can be written as what a square minus b square so 1 minus sin a to 1 plus sin a can be written as 1 square minus sin square a this is equal to okay next square and square root both are gone from the numerator side okay 1 plus sin a is only remaining and in the denominator side 1 square is 1 minus sin square a 1 minus sin square a 1 sin square a take to the right hand side okay so positive thing equal to it will be 1 minus sin square a so 1 minus sin square a can be written as it is cos square a okay it is under root only square and square root are gone from only the numerator side square root is there for the denominator side so i have written the square root as it is now square and square root both are gone here so 1 plus sin a divided by 1 just it is cos a so we have reached up to this much again you need to simplify this respective term further so that you can get this much result or else if you did not get the idea how to after this how you are going to further simplify and you are supposed to get this much result you call this equation number 1 and take RHS separately like this and go on after simplifying again you will be getting this much result you call this equation number 1 you call that as equation number 2 equation 1 which is equal to equation 2 if both are tallied then hence the proof for the given question now I will solve this further. So, after two steps, okay, one small modification, if I made with this respective last term, you people will be going to get this much result, okay. This is equal to, now, 1 plus sin a divided by cos a is there, cos a, I will split it for the both numerator terms, 1 divided by, it is cos a plus sin a divided by cos a. Cos A and Cos A, after taking it is common, okay, in the numerator side, 1 plus sin A, you will be getting, see, after simplifying that, that respective term, again, you will be getting back your original term, so there is no any effect on this problem, okay, on this term, now, 1 by Cos A, see, 1 by Cos A can be written as sec A, so, it will be sec A, plus sin A divided by Cos A, sin a divided by cos a it is tan a here n are just different so you write here it is tan a this is equal to okay what you call the required here the right hand side result that much you have got right now so this is the proof of this given problem okay next we will see again one more problem Third one, sin theta minus 2 sin 2 theta whole divided by 2 cos cube theta minus it is cos theta is equal to tan theta. Again, this also to prove that after taking this term you are supposed to get this much okay now in this problem taking this term and getting this much is just little difficult so you need to okay again adjust the new term writing in the numerator side as well as denominator side suppose if you consider okay this rhs so don't take this term and don't try to get this much result after after simplifying the better way is you take lhs and you after go on simplifying this term you will be getting right hand side result very easily now LHS this is equal to sin theta minus 2 sin cube theta divided by 2 cos cube theta minus this cos theta so this is equal to sin theta sin theta cos theta and cos theta so sin and cos both are there in the numerator side as well as denominator side with this both the terms so sin theta will take it is outside so 1 minus 2 sin theta 1 into sin theta sin theta minus 
टू साइन थीटा टू साइन पे थीटा साइन पे थीटा डिवाइड बाय कॉस इट इट इज आउटसाइड सो टू इट इज कॉस पे थीटा माइनस वन टू कॉस पे थीटा टू कॉस थीटा सो मच टू कॉस पे थीटा माइनस वन इट कॉस थीटा इज कॉस थीटा दिस इज इक्वल टू साइन थीटा डिवाइड बाय कॉस थीटा इज नौ tan theta got but apart from that tan theta these terms are again remaining only the numerator as well as the denominator term so after cancelling numerator as well as the denominator term okay you will be getting just only one term that is last term tan theta but how you going to cancel this respective term which is very simple you do one thing okay 1 minus 2 you write as it is okay See in the denominator side, two cos theta minus one is there. So after simplifying this term, whatever the term is there in the denominator side, such type of one more term if you obtain in the numerator side, so that numerator as well as the denominator term both are gone, total you will be getting tan theta. So denominator term keep as it is. Only you modify the numerator term by applying the addition in here. Okay. So two I write as it is. This is sine square theta. How you going to write sine square theta? Keep here only. Okay. Then cos square theta after taking to the right hand side, it can be written as one minus. It is cos square theta. Okay. This whole divided by <coughs> two cos square theta minus one. This is equal to tan theta. Now. Okay, one minus two one zero minus zero minus plus two cos theta. Hold your line. Two cos theta minus one. Okay, next. This is equal to tan theta. You write as it is. One minus two is how much? It is minus one plus two cos theta. This divided by two cos theta minus one. See the numerator as well as the denominator term both are similar now. Minus one minus one plus two cos theta plus two cos theta. So this whole term and this whole term both are cancel here right now. So that. Yeah, the last you have got only tan theta, so this is equal to right answer. So this is the proof of this problem. Okay, next. To prove that again, sec a plus cosec a whole of the square plus cos a plus sec a. Okay, it is whole of the square is equal to. Okay. Next one, seven plus tan square a plus cos square. After simplifying this full term, you are supposed to get this much result. Now, let us set a plus cos a. Whole of the square plus cos a plus sec a whole of the square. You consider this left hand side term. A plus b whole of the square. You know very well the expansion of a plus b whole of the square. So sec square a. Plus cos square a plus two sec a into cos a 
प्लस फॉस्वे ए प्लस सेक्सवे ए प्लस टू कॉस ए टू इज सेक्स ओके नेक्स्ट दिस इज इक्वल टू नाउ इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेक्स स्क्वेर ए कॉस एक्स स्क्वेर ए इट इज कॉस स्क्वेर ए इट इज सेक्स स्क्वेर ए सी इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज नॉट सेक इट इज साइन ए साइन स्क्वेर ए इट इज साइन स्क्वेर ए इट इज साइन स्क्वेर ए ओके इट इज साइन स्क्वेर ए नेक्स्ट साइन स्क्वेर ए प्लस कॉस एक्स स्क्वेर ए प्लस टू साइन ए इंटू कॉस एक्स ए प्लस कॉस स्क्वेर ए प्लस एक्स स्क्वेर ए प्लस टू कॉस ए इंटू सेक्स ए इट कैन बी रिटर्न एस साइन स्क्वेर ए प्लस कॉस एक्स स्क्वेर ए ओके यू राइट एस इट इज कॉस एक्स स्क्वेर ए प्लस टू साइन ए This cosec a can be written as C. Cosec a is equal to one by sin a. So cosec a can be written as it is one by sin a. Plus cos a a. Plus sec a a. Plus two cos a. Sec a can be written as it is one divided by cos a. Now cos a cos a sin a and sin a. This all terms are coming from both numerator as well as denominator term. And one more thing, you remember sin square a plus cos square a. Sin square a plus cos square a can be written as it is one. Therefore, one plus. Okay. Next term cos square a. Next plus two plus cos square is already gone because sin square a plus cos square a we have written as one. Okay. Next term sec square a plus it is two. Now two plus two plus one is how much? Five. Plus it is sec square a plus cos x square a otherwise cos x square a plus x square a you can write it in any of the ways this is equal to okay five see we are supposed to get this much is seven plus tan square a plus cos square a now five okay again two are required so that five plus two will be seven so again two how are you going to get two two you can get in this term After simplifying this as well as this term, so that you can get respective the integer number two. Two plus five is how much? Seven will be getting. So sec square a, see, sec square a, one minus tan square a will be equal to the right hand side. So sec square a can be written as one plus tan square a. Or sec square a can be written as one plus cos square a. So one plus it is tan square a plus one plus it is. Cos square a, so that this is equal to five plus one plus one are how many? Seven plus it is tan square a plus it is cos square a. Okay, this is equal to right hand side result. This is the proof of the given problem. Okay, like this also you can simplify.